Okay, so we're at the vets. Uh, this morning I noticed there was a big pile of vomit right under where Sky sleeps. And there's no droppings, so I'm wondering if something's going on, something's blocked, she's not getting the food down. Um, usually when a quake is vomiting, it's usually brighter and it's usually metal poisoning. So, there's my little girl. Can we see you? Maybe I should make that easier for myself. Hey, boo boo. Hey, squibby. Hey, sweetie. So she's in a heated in a box. She's in a container. There's a heat mat in the back. I did have food and water in there, but she just isn't eating. I didn't spend any time with her yesterday. I wasn't home at all. So I don't know how she was yesterday. She wouldn't eat anything today. You can see her droppings aren't very much of anything. You want to come out? She's just been quiet, fluffed, not doing anything sleepy. So um, we'll get an x-ray, see if there's any metal in there. She has been eating a lot of cat food <laughs> and she's overweight. She's got a lot of fat on her, so it could be her liver, but um, we'll get her taken care of. Okay, I'm going into the bird room. Um, spent ages with Sky at the vet, so um, I just want to be here with my baby. I didn't want to leave her. I'm like, I'll say goodbye to her and I'll spend a few minutes playing with her. And then, um, I'll grab my stuff to leave and I'll go back and say goodbye to her again. She's not looking well. Guys, can you have a bit of um, respect? A little sissy. So it's not like Ryder every other time where Ryder will vomit and then we'll take him down, he'll get an x-ray. Uh, and there's little bits of metal that he's gotten from goodness knows where. And it can come from anywhere, like even this sliding door. The railing down here. Like there could be shards of metal in there that he's picking at that we don't know about. Um, every time you open and shut this door. You know, from the car, um, you know, the, the brakes that are, uh, are, are grinding away when you drive a car. Or you step into a shed where someone's been working on... Um, metal work or tools or screwdrivers drills and things and you walk through it and then you walk upstairs with your shoes on and the tiniest specks so they can spot a mile away their vision is incredible um and they will pick those up uh <clears throat> anyway so that's usually this one <laughs> and you've been okay have you eaten any metal lately say no no no, no. Okay, that's not a no. You saying yes? Yes. Uh oh, <laughs> we're in trouble now. <laughs> um. Okay, so Sky. Um. Like I said yesterday, I didn't get to spend any time with her. I didn't see her. I fed them their food in the morning. And I left for the day and I didn't come home till late. So they were already in bed by the time I came home. I have no idea what she went through yesterday at all. But when I woke up this morning, um, just a big, everything she had eaten probably the day before was just at the bottom of her cage in one big pile. Uh, nothing is coming out the other end. Uh, anything that I would offer to her to eat, she would not eat. She tried um, once. To nibble on something and was just like I can't do it um, he's fighting him because he's angry so we'll just put him in the Sun bye bye his little legs so he's got leg weakness that's painful for him to walk sometimes but he's okay so 
He's going to come down and grab some sticks or something. And off his face. I'm ready. Yeah, so I took her. I wasn't going to. I thought, oh, vomiting. It happens to Ryder all the time. I mean, I know we treat him. Scamp. I know we treat him for it. There's a car. Oh, my my wing earring is sideways. There's a couple of times where he has vomited and it could have been regurgitation, so I've just left it. And he's fine. They really don't like it when I talk to anyone else. So they get mad. By the way, I don't drink alcohol. <laughs> I don't promote alcohol drinking. <laughs> um, I just don't like seeing so many clothes end up in landfill. So now I'm choosing to wear clothes that no one else wants. <laughs> Her, took her to the vet this morning and I still tried to give her food while she was there she would not touch it she would not eat anything so hard to watch and she just sits there all fluffed up and horrible um, so they did an x-ray and there's no metal which is really strange and metal we know how to treat it because ryder has been through it so many times but um so there is something on the x-ray which is unusual like in her belly somewhere looks like a like a very small jelly bean of some kind could be some sort of obstruction some sort of something that's you know turned into a hard clump uh which is probably stopping food getting through her body can you not bite me oh no you're not the one biting me you are. anyway trying to tell a serious story okay so she has something going on they're going to do a different x-ray where they put a liquid through her body, her digestive system, to see if it's this obstruction is in her digestive system or is it some growth outside of her digestive system. Why would it stop her from eating if it is? But um, some sort of tumour outside of her digestive system or in her body somewhere. But we want to know where exactly. That will be happening later tonight. Um, I don't know if I'll see her tomorrow. And if she can't eat and nothing's getting through her body, not much we can do. Um, surgery on a bird this small is very difficult to get this object out. be very difficult um don't know if you saw my video about the macaw that swallowed a screw went through a lot um and that was like six months ago it started having trouble breathing um so it, it's had a lot of problems <laughs> um yeah, there's, there's a good chance that we might not see Sky again because we don't know how to fix this kind of problem, do we? But things happen. There's a lot of birds that need help. So there's always a, yeah, a place here for, to help someone else. She has had a great life. Um, I was just looking at her age. Five, six, seven, eight, eight years old. Um, I had her for, what was it, three or four years. Four years, I think, I've had her, yeah. And, you know, it's freaking a palace here. <laughs> it's a birdie paradise. 
My birds are so spoiled. They get everything. So I can't feel sorry for her that she's had, you know, struggles. She's had a good life. I'm happy for her. I did the best that I could. And yeah, she's very lucky. She's very lucky. Not many birds are that lucky. And the fact that <laughs> hopefully it's not something wrong that I did. It's just something that happened. We'll see. I don't know. Maybe it'll just come through her system, whatever it is. I doubt it. It's pretty big. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just thought I'd make this video before I get too sad. <laughs> um, yeah, before we have to start making scary decisions, right? Yeah? As I've always said, you know, I've got two boys, two girls, two greens, two blues. Um, you know, everything's going to be odd. <laughs> but like I said, there's a lot of birds out there that need help and that don't have a good life right now. And I would love to help more birds. So, she's, yeah, she might give her place to someone else, but let's not, let's not, so, hey. Are we going to make it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm ready. Oh, these two. Oh, sorry, mate. Yeah, I'm ready. You're hiding. <laughs> He's hiding. Oh, sorry. Yep. Uh-huh. Yep. Peekaboo. I'm just glad I got to give her such a great life. I'm so happy. I'm so happy for her. She was such a good bird. She's absolutely adorable, funny, cute, loving, loving, snuggly. Um, all the traits you don't want in a bird because they have to be birds, not teddy bears <laughs> or puppy dogs. But um, I think she got to experience life with a flock <laughs> yeah, a dysfunctional family but a family nonetheless she got to live with other quakers you know three other quakers like wow <laughs> good for her should i show the yeah maybe i'll put the x-rays up we'll see i might put the x-rays up here not that you'll know what you're looking at but there's like a little yeah jelly bean thing in her belly that you'll notice Maybe I'll circle it or something. I don't know what I'm doing yet. It's still, um, yeah, all still the first day of this happening. So, ow, stop biting me. Where's your beak? Where's your beak? There. Okay. You're not looking sick, are you? You are... I did see something in this cage where I thought it was vomit as well, but hey. Um, I don't like what my hair is doing. It's in a little bun right now. And I'm growing it. <laughs> Can I have a kiss? Hi, Scamp. All right, that'll do. That'll do. Okay. So, yeah, whatever happens, happens, right? Um, we'll see how she goes over the next few days. Um, like I said, with metal poisoning, <laughs> unfortunately, uh, we know what to do. Uh, and he has survived it so many times. With a problem like this, if we can't... We can't remove it. <laughs> if it doesn't remove itself... Then we have a problem. We don't know what it is. That's okay. Alrighty. 
see you next time.